what's the what's the rivalry mean to you? Well, it's it's awesome to be at a place where there is uh, an intense rivalry. You know, having uh, played at Duke and having uh, the Tar Heels as a rivalry, I understood it as a player. Um, coming here, um, it's it's actually I think fueled a little bit more. Um, but it's awesome because I think what, what happens in rivalry weeks where you play games uh, against opponents that bring out the best in you, I, I think that's the beauty of it is it brings a, a challenge and a, um, some adversity to it and excitement and passion and all of that. It, it brings out the best in teams and um, it comes at a good time for us. Um, I think where we are in the season um, where we need a, a game like this and uh, we're excited and looking forward to it. You're just three games in. What have you learned about your team thus far? Uh, we're resilient. Um, we, you know, we've uh, battled through not having uh, necessarily our, our best group. Um, still getting some guys that uh, in the off season were battling some injuries and, and still getting back into it. Uh, and against three opponents that were challenging in different ways, what I like about our group is that we're resilient. We found ways to win games. Um, and that's exciting moving forward. I said in the beginning of the season, what I love about the group is their commitment level to, to growth, commitment level to uh, getting better, and um, we, you know, we're, we're getting there. We're, we're a long ways away from where we need to be, but um, I'm excited about uh, the effort that they put in on a daily basis. How health-wise, how are you? I mean, are you getting close? We're, we're getting there. You know, uh, Mo uh, just played limited minutes in the last two games, and. Um, he's just getting more fit and now sharper. Adam Wilson uh, played limited minutes in the last two games and he's uh, getting there, he's getting sharper. Um, and, uh, and, you know, and even, even Jeffrey D, we're still um, working him back in. He hasn't seen any minutes yet. We're hopeful that uh, that will be sooner than later. Um, so, but, you know, in a, in a long season, what we know is that very rarely do you have everybody available. And, um, again, uh, the guys have responded very well and uh, against tough opponents found ways to get results. Is this a team, even with everybody, that you expect to kind of roll a lot of guys in and out of there because of the depth you have? That's the benefit, yeah, for sure. And it's it's shown that once we, once we do get everybody back that um, on weeks like we have against Kentucky and Wake Forest that we're going to have to use a lot of numbers because um, we expect both games to be very hard and difficult and you know playing two games like that in the same week it's going to take numbers and I think that's one of the strengths of the team this year is that we do have guys that we can bring off the bench and, and it, the, the level doesn't dip but it, if anything it maintains or sometimes gets better. You talk about having to face teams that present different challenges. What challenges does UK present? Well, they're on a roll. They're three and zero right now. I think they have some confidence. Um, they're not giving up many goals. They're not conceding a lot like us. Um, they're pretty good on restarts, um, you know. And and on top of it, it's a rivalry, and uh, emotionally, it, it brings it to a whole new level. So I think all those things are are challenges that we're aware of and and prepared for. How important is it to play a team as solid as them? Place it's great. Yeah, it, it is wonderful. And and I said uh, earlier that this is a game we need where we are right now in preparation for the, the Wake Forest and the Syracuse and the teams that we're facing in the future. This will be a good challenge for us and, and help us uh, continue to grow and show us where we're at right now.